Hello, welcome to the Weather Unlocked video series. In this Weather Unlocked, we will take a look at the Joplin Tornado Event Review. The Joplin Tornado occurred on May 22, 2011. This left devastating damage across the city in Joplin. This particular graphic here highlights where the tornado path occurred, touching down just to the west of Joplin and then tracking to the east before finally jotting further to the southeast before lifting. Damage along the path included the St. John's Medical Center, St. Mary's Catholic Church, Joplin High School, major retailers, the Joplin East Middle School, and then crossed the Interstate 44 before lifting to the south and east. A look at satellite imagery a few days after showed the path of destruction you can see that the area inside the dashed line shows ground scarring with immense amounts of damage that occurred with the Joplin tornado. Taking a look at some of the Joplin tornado statistics and also taking a look at some historical context, you can see that the Joplin tornado took place from 5.34 p.m. to 6.12 p.m., which was on the ground for 38 minutes. Its final EF rating, or the enhanced Vegeta scale, was an EF-5 tornado with greater than 200 mile per hour winds. Path length was estimated to be 22.1 miles long with a max width anywhere from 3 fourths to 1 mile wide. Devastatingly, there was over a thousand plus injuries with this tornado and in 158 fatalities. From a historical context, you can see on the graphic on the left a map of the F5 and EF5 tornado tracks. This is from 1950 to present. The tracks are denoted by the pink lines on the graphic, including the line across portions of southwest Missouri. On the right, you can see where this lines up with the enhanced Vegeta scale, with an EF5 tornado occurring with 200 mile per hour or higher winds, causing devastating to incredible amounts of violent damage. Other historical Missouri tornadoes have also occurred, going back as far as April 18th of 1880, the Marshfield F4 tornado, and going forward in time, the June 12th, 1881 F4 Hopkins County tornado, and then you had the May 27th, 1896 St. Louis F4 tornado, and then lastly, the March 18th, 1925 Tri-State F5 tornado that began in portions of Missouri before tracking further east, where it gathered its name, the Tri-State Tornado. Joplin ranks seventh among the deadliest tornadoes in United States history. Also among that list was the Tri-State Tornado, which was the deadliest tornado still to this time in the United States history, and the May 27, 1896 St. Louis Tornado, which was the third deadliest of all time. A brief review of radar and what occurred on that night shows that shows here on the left hand side a reflectivity of a supercell that you could see tracking through the Joplin area. In the hook region where you would find the tornado that was occurring, you can see the presence of a debris ball on reflectivity, showing rotational velocities upward of 94 to 99 knots, showing a very strong rotation as the tornado tracked through the Joplin area. Radar also was able to capture debris being wafted. These particular two shots at 5.43 p.m. and 5.53 p.m. showed debris being wafted upwards of 25 to 30,000 feet into the atmosphere. Our hearts remain with all impacted from this devastating event and will never forget what occurred on May 22, 2011. If you're interested in more information about the Joppa, Missouri EF5 tornado, check out our story map that is available on our webpage under our event reviews. As a reminder, it's great to become a Weather Ready Nation ambassador if you're interested. This is a great opportunity to spread Weather Ready messages and be a partner in collaborating with the National Weather Service. Scan the QR code for more information. You can also reach out to us if you have any other questions. You can find us on our webpage or you can call or text us as well as reach out to us on email and our social medias at NWS Springfield. Thank you.